greetings 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 so family i'm Auntie the awakener here and i thought i'd just pop on and share some of my meditations and vibes with you all this day i hope you are well if you are in the uk i hope you are enjoying the sunshine because it is beautiful we're giving thanks for the rays of ra giving thanks for the blessing of asasaya mother earth and yeah when the sun is shining it's always a nice time and you know we feel that energy so welcome you new into the room whoever does decide to join me and what i want to share a bit about is relationships i posted um, a remix on my page yesterday which was about soulmate relationships and i also had a session with a couple today for couples coaching and counseling and um one of the things that came up i'd love to share with you um Hi, greetings, Jason. It says, yes, the sun has been beautiful in the UK. Yes, we are being blessed by the rays of Ra and comforted by our Sasaya. So we give thanks, we give thanks. I hope you are well. hope you are enjoying the sunshine as well. Um, yeah, so just bringing it back to the topic, just talking about the transition that we're going through with relationships and how we can interpret that based on energy and the chakras and um, just where we are in terms of the collective consciousness in terms of relating and relationship greetings doing a thing lovely sun today yes enjoying the sun and thank you for joining me um so yeah i had a coaching session with a couple today and the unique thing about this couple is that they're both you know um at would say mid stages of their life in their 50s and they embarking on this relationship together and one of the female the woman involved is one of my clients she comes to my classes so she's been in the process of doing her self-work after you know years of re re relationships that had the, re the same cycle so repeating those cycles and we get to that point in our life sometimes they call it a midlife crisis and sometimes we call it in the meantime it's that moment where we start reflecting and realizing that the relationships that we've been having have been following a certain pattern and have been really functioning unconsciously we have our desires um, and the things that we want in relationships and our standards but then we start to realize that some of those things are actually based on trauma they're based on the things that we don't want to feel or the hurts that we've experienced in the past and so we start to reflect and we start to want to start doing the healing uh, because healing is learning ultimately um, so we start questioning and working on ourselves and this sister had been doing so and she'd met somebody that she um, you know cared about and you know she's building a relationship but she's trying to build that relationship in a different way, in a more in a more, in a way that feels more aligned with who she is now and, and what she's known about herself, what she's learned about herself. And so when you are in that space, you naturally start to attract a male that's on that same frequency and that vibration. Because when I look at relationships, I look at them as a vehicle. Look at the word relation, which is all about your connection, how you collect and relate to something, and a ship, which is a vehicle. So it's a vehicle which is taking you to somewhere, learning a journey of learning about yourself in relation to your partner or relation to that external aspect of yourself, right? So relationships are always about learning and growing. And the more that you accomplish uh, certain things and grow in that relationship, then you, you build a very strong bond with that person. They may become your life partner, they may not. So ultimately relationships are about learning and growing. And when we were talking in the session today, we were talking about, um, you know, he was talking about the fact that this relationship has been done differently. He's used to relationships that start, you know, on a sexual based level. And although it's been diff different for him, he's also recognized that the connection is actually stronger, that he feels her more energetically, that when her presence is not there, he recognizes it. Um, and that is a different experience for him. And as he was talking about that, I was seeing how we've shifted in terms of our connection with regards to relationships and it's very much in alignment with where we are collectively in terms of our so-called ascension which is really about our evolution and growth in our awareness and consciousness of what it is that we are doing as humans and how we experience life right and so what we were recognizing is that the, the connection that they had built was on the heart chakra level it was more of an energetic connection because they had been through certain things in their life they had um, wanted to over, bypass, they had bypassed, so to speak, the individual on one level. And I'll explain a bit more about that. And they were now connecting through the heart. So that's why they were feeling each other. That's why they were connecting with each other. And they'd also built that, built that energetic connection that was um, from the heart. So that was the foundation of their relationship. 
Whereas normally when we have our relationships, we're, we're operating from the lower three chakras. So we're lo- the lower three chakras are all connected and related to the I, the person, the individual. And the higher three chakras are the personal chakras. So they're about us and how we relate and express ourselves into the world. So the first chakra is the root chakra and that's where our genitals are and that's all about feeling safe and secure. And most of us are functioning um, and starting relationships from that place. We either want our sexual desires to be fulfilled um, you know, and that's the function of our relationship, which is also sacral um, chakra. And then also there's a lot of power struggles and control and manipulation in our relationships because ultimately we are building our relationships based on trauma or what it is that we want to experience or receive for ourselves. But when we've been through a process of trauma, those dysfunctional relationships that have left us wounded, we start to kind of dress back a little bit and not so much just want to think about our own uh, our own desires or, our, or the ways in which we want energy for ourselves we want to start building relationships that have connection we want to start building relationships that have meaning and if we use that time in between those relationships to learn about ourselves learn about you know what it is that how how it was that we operated how did we communicate in that relationship and where does that go back to because a lot of us are having these relationships based on the traumatized parts of ourselves the stuck parts of ourselves and and so we can regress when we have these relationships so what we realize is that when we have these relationships that are from a heart-centered level and we work on ourselves on those lower levels we now start to develop relationships that start at the heart. They start at connection. They start at who are you, who am I, the courting, the how do I relate to you, who are you? And also because we've been through a lot of stuff, we have empathy, judge, we have compassion. And when you're working on yourself, you're able to come from a space of vulnerability because you're in the practice and habit of communicating your truths and expressing yourself and being self-reflective. So you can meet at that heart level, which is non-judgmental, but is also discerning and aware of what it is that it wants. You then start to communicate with each other, open yourself to sharing and, and being your true self and sharing your authentic self right off of the bat because you've been through all of the manipulation, you've been through all of the hiding and you want to just be yourself and speak your truth so that you can know that this person is the vibrational match for you you also thinking about the vision like where is this relationship going what could it be you know and how could it manifest what 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 is this going to bring me you start thinking of the bigger picture and then you connect to the source it's like you surrender and you say you know i want what's for my highest good and once you've kind of fulfilled those levels that's when you now go into the lower which is the the root chakra of connection do we sexually connect Do we have that magnetism? I feel secure in myself, so do I feel secure in this relationship and this union? And we realise that that is the higher vibrational way of us engaging in relationships. And what was coming through as well was about the ancient practices of, you know, the art of relationship, the art of courting, the art of um, developing intimacy, the art of asking each other, you know, what is it that we're here to create and do? Those are the type of relationships that we are starting to move into, especially with this Aquarian age. It's all about how can we be authentic? Having been through all of the hurts that we've been through in the lower self and in the ego, we now use the wisdom that we've gained from the healing and the learning to have better, more authentic, more honest, more true, more loving relationships in whatever way we choose to do so. And that brings in that whole Aquarian energy again. So... Yeah, I wanted to share that because it's, 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 it's really about us having a different way in which we understand relating, right? And recognizing that the healing that we're all going through, through those traumatic experiences that we have had in terms of our relating to each other, is also that we can ascend in our consciousness and our experience of what it means to have relationships that are from the heart, that are relationships that are built on truth and integrity, relationships that are built on building a foundation and have leg- longevity and, and really ultimately about our own experience because we will then release the attachments that we have to our relationships because they're no longer based on needs they're no longer based on fulfilling desires but ultimately based on understanding that we're choosing to learn something with each other and they are also choosing to experience with each other and so we can be fully embodied in that experience without worrying about how long it's going to last or anything based on those insecurities we can have really truly honest authentic relationships and so 
the healing work is important all of the things that we've been through in terms of our destruction and and with regards to relationships is also that we can really understand what it what it means to relate and 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 choose the type of relationships that we want to have and the type of experiences that we want to have and to not be coming from a place of wounding but be coming from a place of understanding compassion and love so um yeah that is the download <laughs> right now um let me know what your thoughts are on that whether in the comments below um now or you know in the comments below afterwards it just had me thinking because at the end of the day the shift is not happening externally it's happening internally and with my work and in just in life i see a lot of people who are how, who are thinking and rethinking the way that they have relationships what it is that they value in relationships how it is that they want to relate and with all of this diversity in terms of relationships whether it be poly polygamy and polyamory or you know same-sex relationships i don't think any of that really takes away from the learnings and the experiences that we that we have as humans in terms of our relating and engaging so it really is a human experience that we're going through and a human transition that we're going through and an expansion in our consciousness and our awareness of what it means to love what it means to have relationships and what it means to really be connected at the heart with through our authentic self so um yeah if you've got anything that you'd like to add to that then please do <laughs> greetings Nat natalia hope you are well um yeah so i think i'm just gonna let that be what it is and land with you but um yeah just wishing you a blessed 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 sunday and i'm looking forward to connecting with you all very soon and just yeah just be present and true to who it is you are right now you know enjoy each moment and, re and remember that life is the gift the life is the gift so yeah enjoy it and have a great day much love bye